Hey guys, Hayden from Black Bear Barbecue here. Beef cheek pies today. If you've ever seen these in your local butchers or your supermarket, these are little gold nuggets. They're great little things, they're very fatty. They're the most used muscle on the cow, so they've got a lot, a lot of texture in them. They're very fatty, beautiful sinew that goes through the middle that just breaks down to the most juiciest thing ever. They can be very deceiving, this little bit of meat. It's got a lot of flavour, a lot of meat in it, and, and it's really, really easy to cook, and everyone should have a go of it. That silver skin, we've got to get rid of that stuff. So, like the other, the other cuts, we've got to go in underneath it, just in the middle. I like to do it in the middle. Point the knife up and just slowly and surely get underneath it. Pick it up. As you can see, the knife just runs underneath that silver skin. There's a bit of sinew there. Actually, there's a bit of bone there, so we'll cut him off. A bit of sinew. Yeah. So that the join in between the two muscles here is is a is a bit of bit of fat, bit of sinew that'll that'll break down lovely. Wait till you taste it. It's outstanding. So we'll roll the knife around. Get rid of that stuff. Other side, we want to get rid of this fat and the silver skin as well. All right, so then we're left with beautiful bit of tender meat here. I'd do two or three of these, but um, so that's, that's what you're left with. That's a bigger one, but yeah, same, same thing. All right, next thing to do is to put our famous beef rub on it. It's the salt and pepper 70-30 mix. Um, great flavour. You don't have to be too generous. There's a heap of flavour in, like I said before. There's so much flavour in these bad boys that it'll knock your socks off. We're just gonna salt and pepper, real simple, real simple. All right, let's throw them on the barbie. All right, put them to bed for three hours. We'll be back to check on them. We'll boat them up, we'll put some red wine in there, juice them up a bit, and they'll make the most amazing pies you've ever tasted. All right, guys, beef cheeks are ready to be boated. Now, we've got two cups of beef, beef stock here. We've got a half a glass of red wine. We've got some salt and pepper, and we've got a half a tablespoon of rosemary. So just like putting the kids in the bath, throw them in there, tell them to be good, and what we do, we put a lid on them. Don't put a lid on your kids in the bath. <laughs> Cover them up. Nice, nice seal on this. Seal it up. Now this, this will accelerate the cooking process. This will take it right through to done now. Um, another hour or so I'd say. And we will have the beef cheeks ready for our fabulous pies. All right. Perfect, ready to go. Right, so here they are. All right, there you go. So that, that's the beef stock, red wine. Look at this, look at this. You ready? Want to see a magic trick? Have a look at that. That's just, um, that's like a meat lolly. So good. I can't describe the, fl the smells in the room right now. So literally you just smash them up. How good is that? That's the tenderest bit of meat you'll ever see. And even, even that fat line that goes through the muscles, just, it just turns to this gelatinous, oh, the flavor is crazy. So one, what, that goes back in the fat. This one, same, same deal. Look at that. Just perfect pie material. It might look like a rock, but it's a meat marshmallow. How good's that? <laughs> Very hot, but yeah. Anyway, so we'll, we'll get the um, pie casings ready and we'll get into it, eh? Now, let's make the pastry for the beef cheek pie. We're using homemade alfoil ones. We've formed them up in a cup, just so not everyone has pie, base, pie bases. So we're, we're just making them like this, very, very rough, but it'll work, it'll, it'll be great. So we cut them out about an inch further out, just to give you some breathing room. Here we go. There. Place in the center. 
push him down. Now we're using puff pastry today. You can use short crust pastry if you like. Puff, puff's the way to go today, I think. Just pushing, pushing him in to all the corners so you can fill it up with that delicious beef cheek. All right, the filling's ready to go. It's been cooking in there. Oh, it's very, very hot. Squeeze as much goodness in it as you can, or I say. So it's filled, let's put some cheese on top. Next, two bits of cheese. It's very rustic farm pie here. So a little bit of egg whipped up. We'll just virtually just paint around where you want the top and the bottom to get sealed. So it'll steam that, steam that the filling. A couple of tops we've made. Same process as the bottom, of course. <laughs> and here we go. So just pinch him, pinch him down, work your way around. Not too much pressure. It's very delicate, this stuff. So that's just an awesome looking pie, eh? We'll just roll the edges around just as a final seal. And the final trick, put a little bit of egg yolk around the top. Now the, the colour will, will just be amazing on the, the top of this pie. Look at that nice golden colour after. Good old, good old Aussie meat pie. Grain fed Aussie beef coming at ya in pine form from Black Bear Barbecue. Does it get better? Probably not. All right guys, pies are ready to go in the smoker. They go in the smoker just like they'd go in the oven, but it just tastes better out of the smoker. So here we go, reverse. Reverse offset smoker. It's going to cook these pies for us today at 135. We're going to put them nice in the middle. We've got heaps of room in this one, so right in the middle. That won't take very long at all. We've already cooked the beef cheek, so let, let, let's get the lid closed and, and wait. All right, guys, time for the pies. Final stage. I reckon, I reckon they're going to be beautiful. Let's go, have it. Let's go check them out. <laughs> Just like I said, how good is that? Couple of little pies made with homemade pie tins, but how good do they look? It doesn't get better than that. Let's, let's crack one open and see how it is. There you have it guys. Beef cheek pies done in the smoker, golden crust, cheese melting out of it. I don't think it gets better than that. It's the best pie in the universe. A lot of people say that, but this is the best pie in the universe right now. Thanks, guys. Check it out.